In this quick get going tutorial, I want to talk to you about converting H.264 footage that you've shot on your digital camera, such as a Canon or Nikon DSLR. You can see right here that I have put the SD card inside of my computer and I copied over one of the clips that we're going to use for this tutorial. I copied it onto my external hard drive and I've placed it inside of my project folder and I've placed it in a folder called source media. So our original file here from our camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it, and let's open this file in the QuickTime player. And if we go to Window Show Movie Inspector, we can take a look at the quality and the compression format of the clip. So we can see that this clip is in H.264. It's in 1920 by 1080 pixels. It's using linear PCM, which is high quality uncompressed audio, but actually we don't wanna use the audio from this. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And we can see that the frame rate is 29.97. Now that I know what my clip settings are, when I go back to the Avid, I'm gonna hold down Command and press Tab and let's go back to the Avid. So when we start a new project, I'll just create one here in the shared folder. I'll click on new. We wanna make sure that we match our project settings to our footage. Avid is frame rate specific. Now we can mix and match different types of media, whether it be 1080p or 1080i, 720p in the same timeline. But what we really need to decide is the frame rate. So we're gonna go ahead and commit to the 1080p at 29.97 and we want our raster rate at 1920 by 1080 pixels. And I'll go ahead and give this project a name. I'm gonna call it ProRes Convert. I'll click OK. And you can see now that we have this project in our list under our shared projects. And if you don't remember where your project is located, you can always take a look up here, Users, Shared, Avid Media Composer, Shared Avid Projects. You can click on the folder and it will take you there. So there's my project if I wanna back it up. So let's go ahead and move this over so you can take a look at the file path. So you can see that it's on the system hard drive under Users, Shared, Avid Media Composer, Shared Avid Projects. There's our project file. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna click OK while we have this project highlighted and we're gonna open up Avid Media Composer. Okay, great. Now that we have opened up the Avid for the first time with this project, notice that it highlights the bin because it wants us to name it. So I'm just gonna call this video clips. And then here's my bin window. And now what I wanna do is import my H.264 based footage into the Avid, but I wanna convert it to ProRes HQ. Now there's two ways that we can do this. If we want to tell the Avid that we're always going to convert to ProRes, what we want to do is go to our settings, and then we want to go down to Media Creation in the list. Here we go, Media Creation. I'm going to double click on Media Creation, and it's going to open up this window. And let's click on the Import tab. Now here it says Video Resolution. So here's all the different types of video resolution that we can use currently with this version of Avid Media Composer 7. You may have an older version, but you're still okay. So down here in the list, we can see towards the bottom, Apple ProRes HQ, but it still has the Avid proprietary format of MXF on it. If you're going to be editing on a Mac-based system, then you do wanna use ProRes for several reasons. One of them being that it's gonna access the other cores in your processor. You will be able to render and edit faster in the ProRes codec. H.264 is not a video codec that you wanna edit in. It takes a very powerful machine to edit H.264 video. So that's part of the motivation for converting to Apple ProRes HQ. If you're not gonna be working on a Mac-based system, then you may just wanna stick with the Avid proprietary codec and the DNX HD 220 or 220X would be a great setting. So you wanna be careful, you know, if your computer's fast enough and you can do what's called an online edit, meaning that you can edit in high quality, then go ahead and convert your media to high quality. But if you're working on a slower computer or slower hard drives or an older machine, you may want to import and encode your footage at a lower quality so that your computer works faster and you can edit. We're gonna go ahead, like I said, and go with the Apple ProRes HQ and notice the particular drives that we have installed. Avid will not let us import to the system drive. We need to have an external drive. 
Uh, so right now we have an external drive plugged into our Mac laptop. And you can see here is the SD media card, but we would not want to write to the media card. We'd want to write to the hard drive. And notice that when we import and convert to ProRes HQ that we're gonna put our video and our audio on this external drive inside of the Avid Media Files folder. I wanna go ahead and click OK. So that's like the global way to import H.264 and convert it to ProRes. Now the other way that we can choose on an individual clip basis is if we go to File and we go to Import, down here at the bottom right you can see the resolution and it's already on ProRes because we set it up that way under the Media Creation dialog box. But notice at any time we could change it. All right, so I'll keep it here on the two terabyte. And now I'm gonna to go to my external hard drive. If I go down here in the list, here it is, two terabyte Western Digital, Avid Tutorials. I'm gonna to go to Source Media, and here is my clip from my Canon DSLR camera. You can see it's a minute and 37 seconds, and it's at 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna click Open. Now, depending on the speed of your computer's processor and the speed of the hard drive, it could take several minutes for this footage to convert from H.264 to ProRes. I'll come back to you once we're done converting. Okay, great. We can see that our footage now lives inside of the Avid bin. We can double click on it and now bring it into the source viewer and set our in and out points and use this footage that has been converted to ProRes. If you're not sure where the footage is on your hard drive, remember it always lives inside of the Avid Media File folder, which we've talked about in earlier chapters. But I'll remind you again, let's go to my external drive, and you can see here's my folder. It says Avid Media Files, MXF, and inside here, this is where the ProRes footage now lives. Look at that, it's 2.77 gigabytes. That's a very large file much larger than our original clip that was in H.264. Okay, that concludes this chapter on converting H.264 to ProRes HQ.